Hello and welcome to how I play my level 50 Necromancer. Now this is a character on a TLP server. This is not a live server character. Uh, he's currently level 51, but that's uh, doesn't matter. I don't have any of the spells for 51. Uh, and we're, we only have spells mem for uh, level 50 uh, and below right now, so... Everything, pretty, for the most part, will uh, go with that. So uh, let's kind of talk about uh, the two different setups, right? There is a solo setup and a group setup. So this is kind of my uh, spell set here for group. I have Drain Soul, which is a big life tap. Uh, just kind of takes some of the pressure off the healer. Let's me heal up if I'm, uh, you know, a little bit low if I get hit, some aggro and stuff like that. Next up, I have Invenom Bolt. Uh, which is our big poison dot. We get this at level 50. It takes 379 mana, so it's pretty intense uh, mana-wise, but it does, you know, about 346 to 351 per tick. Uh, so it's a pretty fast killer, 36-second uh, dot. Uh, next up, I have Cascading Darkness. This is our snare current level. It does 72 damage per tick, but uh, the damage doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, it's a snare. Uh, then I have Ignite Blood, which is our uh, current fire dot. And it does about 125 per tick for 42 seconds. Uh, then we have uh, this. So this is my group setup. So I have mana, mana, uh, what, do you, what do you call this, Twitch. Uh, you put it on uh, another character. Uh, there was a guy like right here, right? So this guy right here, I want to give him mana. I just click it and wham, bam. He gets a little bit of my mana. I lose about 20 or was it about 10% of my mana. So uh, I think it's uh, I think it's four or, or yeah, 300 of my mana. They get 200 or 100, something like that. There's a better one later on, but it doesn't really matter too much. I don't use it a lot. Uh, mostly groups are just really good on mana right now. I don't know. Uh, Screaming Terror. This is our mez. This will mez things for, I believe, 18 seconds, but it actually it seems to tick over to like 20 seconds. I don't know. At least when you like mouse over the icon, right? So it's a little more mez up to 55 for, you know, a little bit of time. Uh, and a lot of the a lot of time when I'm grouping, you know, I'll have a pet charmed pet and then I will, uh, Mez the pet, mez, you know, adds, mez other pets. You know, it's it's very helpful if you don't have an enchanter and whatnot. So it's just in a, a nice quick cast too, right? It's a uh, 2.6 second cast time. So it's not too bad. Uh, and then I have Fain Death. Uh, I can't use this with Charmed Pets, but uh, I can use it, uh, you know, normal, just whatever. Like I want to go AFK. Boom. Fain Death. I'm not going to die unless I get AoE. Or uh, something happens, right? Uh, and then I have uh, Conjole Undead as my current charm. This is a level 47 charm. Uh, it, it works pretty well. It's, you know, 214 mana after uh, what are all the specialization reduction. I believe I'm specialized in alteration. Yes, I am. Uh, so, you know, it's not too bad. It's, uh, it works pretty well. I've, uh, done it quite a bit now. I really enjoy it. It's probably our highest, highest DPS spell. Uh, considering it doesn't break as much, I feel like I have a I have a level 50 enchanter here too. And I feel like this undead charm lasts longer than the, the equivalent uh, allure for enchanter. And that's, uh, that's with only Mallow from a shaman in the last group I was in. It works pretty well. I find, uh, that, you know, that's to be, you know, the case there. But that's like my everyday, you know, grouping thing, right? I don't use the dots as much. Maybe just in Venom Bolt. But on names, I will then, I will do all three dots. On Trash, I only do like well, maybe one dot. Just depends. Uh, the other spells I use are Lich, which is uh, right here. Turns us into a skeleton and uh, drains our health for mana. Uh, this is 100% uh, needed to do anything. Our spells are so expensive. You can see here I have a little one-click macro uh, that will memorize the spell, cast it, and go back to my group spell set. Uh, then 
If I'm not charming, I have a, a normal skeleton pet. All right now, the current level one is Invoke Death. And he's he's pretty, you know, good pet. I, I use him uh, when I'm not charming, so, you know, it works out pretty well. Uh, the pet also has a pet buff called Augment Death, which increases his attack speed, uh, armor class, and strength for an hour. So it's nice, you know, always want to make sure you have that on there. I put that on the charmed pets also. Uh, but that's that's up to you and what kind of healers you have available to keep you alive during that. Uh, see here, that's the pet buff. Same kind of macro here. You can see uh, pauses, mims the spell slot eight, which is the bottom one. Uh, puts this, that spell in there. Waits a little bit, casts it, waits a little bit, and uh, goes back to the group spell set, which is this one. And then finally, I don't, I don't have it on there, but uh, shield, which I don't have it actually on me at the moment. Here, let's grab it. Uh, arc shielding is our current uh, shielding spell. Uh, I was grouped with a shaman last, so I have that right now. But uh, this will increase our HP, armor class, and magical resistance. Nice little spell to have if you don't have anything else to put there. So, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. So that is... That is like all the spells for when I grew up, right? And my uh, my hot bar here is pretty much standard how I do a solo necromancer, not a multi-boxed uh, or a multi-bind necromancer. I have uh, a hide corpse macro like all my characters do, and then I just have all my dots. And I, you know, just I manually watch everything and keep everything in track. Uh, you know, I have one, two, three, and then, uh, what is this one? Yeah, that was because the, that one's there. Uh, I swapped that in for another dot, uh, but that's, uh, that's the mana twitch for, uh, targeting, and then snare. And then I have a charm macro, which is, is this basic. All it does is, so I set the, the charm pet is the, uh, X target 18, on all my uh, all my characters pretty much have the same extended target, right? I have 20 as the tank, uh, 19 as the assist, and then I always put the charm pet that that current character is using in uh, charm uh, or X target 18. So the macro kind of works there. Uh, I have the same thing on my enchanter, and uh, over here I also have the group like group targets. So group target one, two, and three. Uh, the last group I was in was using that for keeping track of the charm pets. It worked out pretty well. Uh, just, you know, not every group I go in does that, so it's kind of a hit or miss if that is useful to you or not, but uh, it's pretty good. And then, let's see here. Then I have Mez over here on zero, so I can just hit that with my finger. Uh, Feign Death, and then Journeyman Boots. Just quick, easy hotkeys. And then I have an Assist Macro, which is pretty basic. Uh, pauses for half a second, assists main, which uh, should be X target 19, it's just not because uh, TLP, right? And then uh, pause three to stand up, so you know, a third of a second, and then pet attack. So I find that if I'm sitting when I do a pet attack, I'm gonna get attacked 99% uh, of the time, so uh, this just stands me up beforehand to hopefully lower my aggro there. And then I have Invenom Bolt on numpad 2, so I can, if I'm, uh, if I'm multi-boxing and I'm doing other characters, I like to have one hand on the mouse, like for this character, and then another hand on a keyboard for another character. Uh, so I have some of the spells kind of duplicated there. And then same with Feign Death, right? I want to be able to hit numpad 5. If you go across all my characters, usually numpad 5 is my Feign Death slash escape kind of thing for most of my characters. And then I have a numpad zero to stand, uh, just because it works out pretty well for me if I'm multi-boxing and stuff like that. Uh, then I have uh, just a random pet attack there that I don't use. Uh, then I have my teleportation items, uh, which is very few. They just have the uh, Northrow Outlook device plus Origin, and that's uh, that's about it there. A DZ macro, so target the engine to change and say all the words. Uh, that he'll accept, and that just gets that going there. Um, conk pots uh, are very important. And you should always be using a conk pot if you're uh, doing anything that's 
Gonna use your mana because it says, uh, let's see if we can get a mouse over on that. Greater concentration, which increases our mana regen by three every six seconds. So it's an extra three mana regen, stacks with Lich, stacks with Clarity, uh, stacks with everything. So it's nice to have on top of all that. Uh, if you have access to a mage, you want to have access to a summoned modulating rod. Uh, I don't think I actually have mine anymore. I logged out, but uh, it will uh, take some of your health and give you back mana. I don't remember the ratio, but it, it's it's best you can get right now. All right, so all, I've talked about my group spell set. I'll switch to my solo spell set. So this is if I'm literally just playing by myself. Uh, this is where I, like on TLP, I'm killing hill giants. I'm killing uh, sea furies, things like that. Uh, you know, mobs here in Chardock, maybe. I don't know, let's try to solo one. Like, uh, there's a twofer. I don't want to do a two. <laughs> That's too much work for me. Uh, but it's this pretty much the same spell set, but I switch out uh, Mana to Twitch for a Stoil, which is a uh, Disease Dot, which does 62 disease damage, and then I switch out uh, Charm for Root. Pretty much uh, how that works there. Let's see. All right, he looks solo. Let's grab him. So I'm gonna pull him with snare, just to get him back here. Yeah. And then let's get him back here a little bit further. He should theoretically path to us. All right, I'm gonna root him. And then I start dotting him up. Now, if root breaks, I'll send the pet on him. But uh, usually it holds. I like a lot of. And Venom Bolt is uh, kind of tricky in the sense that it does have a DD portion. Same with, I believe, that one, right? Yeah, so there we go. He's dotted up. <laughs> and uh, now we just wait. And this is kind of how I do it for the most part. Like, if it's a lower level mob. Like this one, I might send the pet on it. Like, here, send the pet on it now. You can kind of watch, right? The level 49 pet does have life tap um, procs, so he will kind of do that. But you can see here that he's going to not die against this one, so. But it's fairly, fairly basic uh, necromancer gameplay here, but uh, you can kind of see the how this is working, right? Boom. Dead. So, you know, 1.6% 1. 1. experience here during the experience bonus. So, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, but it's, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the gist of it. I can't think of anything else that I do on this guy. Um, yeah, I have buffs from whatever group I was in last. But uh, I don't want I buy is there? I uh, don't have any clickies. Uh, clickies that would be important to have right now. I do have J boots, right? That's 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 like number one. Uh, on a TLP in Kunark, which is where we are, uh, fungi staff, the uh, pre nerf one, is very useful. The uh, circuit of shadow, uh, whatever the pre nerf one of that is, the instant invis, the instant uh, regen, those are very useful clickies. Uh, G boots. I have cloudy potions on me. Uh, see here, the Kong pots I mentioned are also very good. Uh, you obviously need bone chips <laughs> to do anything. And then I think that's about it, like clicky wise, on me. It's like I just a bunch of junk in my bag right now, so it's hard to t hard to tell. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, there's some of these like clicky wands, like invoke shadow will summon a pet. Uh, where's the other one? This one does drain souls a life tap clicky. I don't know. I, you just pick up this random junk while you're leveling, right? I got a dispel clicky there, but for the most part, that is that is it. But that's pretty much how I play my uh, my necro. Uh, you know, in, in a group, I use the charm pet. Which, uh, you just replace this one, keep it charmed, does significantly more DPS, right? So, it's better in group, and it's not hard to get a group as a necromancer, as, uh, as I thought it would be. <laughs> like, 
I get uh, invited to groups quite a bit, so it's kind of nice, uh, and stuff like that. So definitely, uh, definitely fun class on TLP. I've, this is the first time I've done like a necromancer this way on a TLP. I plan on keeping this guy up to date on uh, Teak here, as all all the way up to uh, you know whenever it gets merged with Verona Vi. <laughs> Uh, or whatever uh, server it gets merged with, but it's fun with the random loot and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I will be, I, I do box, and I will be doing videos on all the boxes I do here, so they're, they're you know, they're pretty fun. Uh, not the most optimal, I'm always trying out different things, and I still, you know, I, I feel like, uh, you know, stuff like that is so subjective that it's, it's hard to uh, pick the right thing, and then uh, <laughs> it's hard to re- know change out of that once you get going but there we go thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day